by Michigan, California, North Carolina, and Pennsylvania. I'm Morgan Wood on the Black Information Network. I'm Mike Island, along with Nicole Beal, on your home for 24-7 News, the Black Information Network. With 100,000 VIN listeners in the to succeed in a new one, it will be one step towards building a better future for all of us. To learn more about the 100,000 careers in the field, visit careerbuilder.com slash CIS. Keeping you up to date on the Black Information Making, BIN 1670. Your money on the Black Information Network. More than a third of college students are quiet quitting to preserve their mental health. Quiet quitting refers to employees or students not going above or beyond and rather just meeting their job description. An idea that has recently spread virally on social media. An Intelligent.com survey revealed that many communities public and private university teams are putting some or little effort into their work. Another one in five said their school life balance is unhealthy. And six in ten said they agree with the saying, see, get degree. This comes at the same time that Uber's been hacked. The ride-sharing company said in a tweet recently that it was responding to a cybersecurity incident and that authorities have been notified. Uber sources tell the Washington Post that the hacker posted a message on the Slack platform announcing the data breach. The report says the hacker claims to have wide-ranging access inside Uber's corporate network and appears to be motivated by the company's Money at 24 and 54 past the hour. I'm Morgan Wood on your home for 24-7 News. The Black Information Network and BINnews.com. Your home for 24-7 News, the Black Information Network. Baltimore State's African-American attorney, Marilyn Mosley, federal surgery in the state, it's up to the defense that they should have been expert written and prosecuted for no time to prepare. Mosley's attorney, A. Scott Bilden, says the new trial should be set up as quickly as possible. He's ready for trial. He's been ready for trial. He has fulfilled every element in the trial. The judge has asked us to do. In January, Mosey was indicted on two counts each of perjury and making false statements on mortgage applications and the purchase of two sort of vacation homes. Mosey says she is innocent. Back in June, the state of California released its first government commissioned report on reparations for those affected by U.S. slave trade. But questions over who would get the money and how much were unanswered. A special committee was delegated to investigate a potential payout. That report is due by July of 2023. But one of the task force members, Reggie Jones Sawyer, wants the deadline extended to July of 2024. The police want Governor Gavin Newsom to do those the extension request. The group is scheduled to meet later this month.